Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. How to set up your G1000 for takeoff, coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. Before we jump into the video, I just have one disclaimer. I am not a pilot, so I will not be going over any procedures throughout the duration of this series. The aim of this series is to help you understand the G1000 and all of its functions. Today we're going to go over a very quick video on how to set up your G1000 to prepare for takeoff. If you have any comments or questions throughout today's video, post them down below in the comments and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoy today's content, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button, it is greatly appreciated. Alright, so the first thing I like to do in preparing the G1000 for takeoff now keep in mind you would already want to have your flight plan entered and some of what I will be going over today can also be performed in the parking spot. So the first thing I'm going to do is to set my altimeter for the weather that's around us. Now we can do this one of a couple different ways. We can either use a tablet application like I have over here on the right, Sky for Sim. We can also go up to the toolbar and go over to the weather. Now I am using custom weather today but you will see your weather pressure down here below. If we use live weather, you'll be able to use the METAR here, and then that will show the METAR for the airport in which we're located. And as you see here, the altimeter here is showing 3018. Once you have that altimeter, we need to enter it in our G1000. So we'll just use the knob over here on the right-hand side. And I'm going to set it for my custom weather today at 3022. The next thing we're going to do is to set our heading bug to the runway heading in which we're going to be taking off. Now for today we're going to be using, I believe this is runway 24, so I'm just going to spin the heading bug to 240. Now the reason that we want to do this, it gives us an extra fallback so after we take off, it's not going to go crazy on us if we switch into heading mode. Now one quick tip, when we take off, we want to maintain our runway heading until about 400 AGL. At that point, we can then turn on our course that we need to follow. The next thing we're going to do is to set our first altitude in the altitude bug above. So we'll use the knob down here on the lower left. And we'll just set us to 6,000 feet. Once we have that completed, I like to set up my flight director for takeoff go around or toga mode. Now, if you're in an aircraft like the Cessna and we do not have a toga button, you can always bind a toga button to your keyboard or to your HOTAS right from the Microsoft binding menu. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Hit escape on your keyboard, go down to control options, choose the hardware device that we want to use, go over to name, type in TO space GA. You will see auto throttle, take off, go around. I have this program to the Z button on my keyboard. To set up our flight director for takeoff, we can do this one of two ways. We can either use the takeoff go around button we had just bound to our keyboard, or we can use the flight director button over here on the left hand side. I'll show you what happens when we use the takeoff go around button on our keyboard. At the very top, you will see TO populate in the autopilot panel signifying you are in takeoff go around mode. And below that, you will also see the flight director populate, and that will rise to our takeoff pitch in which we want the autopilot to maintain. Now, one thing to note here is that when you're using takeoff go around mode for takeoff, that it will not maintain your heading. It will only maintain a wings level climb during your takeoff. And then once we pass 400 feet AGL, we can then switch into heading mode. So now let me show you the optional way in which we can set up our flight director for takeoff. We will go over to the left and press on the flight director button. The flight director will then populate on our screen. At the very top in the autopilot panel, you'll see we are in roll mode and we are in pitch hold mode. To adjust the pitch of the aircraft for takeoff, we're going to use the nose up and nose down buttons over here on the lower left hand corner until we get to the desired pitch level. Now keep in mind that every aircraft might be different in this regard, so be sure to check out the POH for that. For this demonstration, I'll set this just over five degrees pitch, and now we're set up for takeoff. Full throttle, and we're gonna go ahead and take off. 
All right, we're at rotate speed. Pull back. Okay, now that we're airborne, we can hit the autopilot button. And as you'll see, the autopilot will maintain our pitch. And now that we have passed 400 AGL, we can then turn on heading mode and you will see heading populate in the autopilot panel. I hope today's video was useful. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.